Clue Network. To edify, to encourage, to upskill. This is Christian Life Upskill with Ifai of Hong Subscribe now. Hi, welcome to Clue, Christian Life Upskill. My name is Ifai Okonkwa. Today in this video, I want to share with us um, the four kinds of wisdom that drives the world. There are four kinds of wisdom that drive the world, whether we like it or not, whether we believe it or not. These are the four wisdom that drive how things happen in the world. You know, and I'm going to read it very quickly from the book of James, James chapter 3. You know, James chapter 3, if you read from 13, and it says, Who is a wise man and endure with knowledge among you? Let him be. Let him show it out of good conversation, his works with meekness of wisdom. It says, But if you have bitterness and envy, bitter envy and strife in your heart, glory, glory not and lie not against the truth. It says, This wisdom descended not from above, but is earthly, first, sensual, second, devilish. Third, he says, For where envy and strife is, there is confusion and every evil works. And then my last verse 17 says, But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, and gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruit, without partiality and without hypocrisy. So from this scripture, we can see that there are four kinds of wisdom. You know, first is earthly wisdom, sensual wisdom, devilish wisdom, and divine wisdom. That is God's wisdom. You know, when man, when God placed man in the garden, he gave him to be ruler over everything he created. And man ruled, and ruled from his spirit. But you see, when man fell, Man could no longer rule from his spirit. He had to rule from his soul. So whereas before, the source of his, his information was from the spirit realm. Now, the only way he gets information is from his surrounding, from the, his environment, which is also under the authority of devil. So whereas before, his source of information was divine. Now it was things that were subject, soulish information. So man could no longer get a pure information to drive things for his own advantage. So we see here, um, James writing, talked about four kinds of wisdom, you know, that drive things in this world. Talks about first, early, you know, second, sensual, third, devilish, and fourth, divine wisdom. And I'm going to start very quickly by talking about first, earthly wisdom. Earthly wisdom. The word is epigios. Epigios deals with moral moral wisdom in other words that is the wisdom that drives how things happen how we live with one another you know how you know more earthly wisdom how to relate with people you know that's where karma comes in you know you should not treat somebody wrongly you know you should greet you know a baby is born and suddenly the baby knows that the nipple has to go through the mouth, you know, some way or the other, they are in it. Those wisdoms are in it, in dealing with things around. You know, you know, so that is earthly wisdom. You know, how country deals with the fellow, the other neighboring countries, you know, how we should protect women and children and animals and all. Those are earthly wisdom that drive things. So you go to some places, there are things that are not allowed. Why? Because if you do this, this will happen. So it is not allowed. So man set up in himself, wisdom to drive things you know so that first is earthly wisdom then the second is sensual wisdom the word in the greek is the word sukikos sukikos deals with the senses senses you know senses that's why we get the word psych you know that psych so so, so sensual wisdom is that wisdom that deals with the mind so that is where you know, people enter into the place of learning, developing their mind to produce things, you know. I, I can also use the word learned wisdom. 
So it's something we learn in school. You know, you go to school, study, you know, a, a lot of things. You and that's where these breakthroughs come to, you know, place of drugs, medicine to treat various ailments. You know, those in, in the tech world are developing apps, you know, Microsoft comes in, Zuckerberg, their buzzers and all that. See, what happened to these guys is they have developed their mind, their senses to drive things. So right now, you can be in Nigeria and make a call to your sister in Canada and you're doing video call and you're seeing them real time, you know. That is wisdom and it's driving a lot of things. So, so there is there's sensual wisdom. And that comes in where people develop their mind to drive things. Glory to God. So there's earthly wisdom, there's sensual wisdom. Sensual wisdom is where you learn things, you, know, you go to school, you develop your mind to produce things, you know. Um, 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 and with these things drive a lot of things and people move forward and a lot of jobs are created. These are wisdom and they drive things. Hallelujah. So first is at least second is sensual. And then the third is devilish wisdom. Devilish wisdom is not a good one. It's from the devil. You know. And it's what has caused chaos in our world today. Even the from the Greek word is demonai, which is demon-like wisdom. You know. <clears throat> it has caused a lot of havoc. And whether you believe it or not, whether you, you, you like it or not. This also, this devilish wisdom also has been driving things negatively in our in the in 21st century, and a lot of things have gone wrong because devils is giving a lot of people, you know, those strange wicked ideas to drive some agendas that are against scriptural values. Hallelujah! And so, Bible says, this is not of God. You know, we saw in the book of Genesis chapter six how the fallen angel came in. And they, they, they seduce men, the sons of men. But it wasn't just that they seduced sons of men. They also taught them a lot of things. Sorcery, enchantment, witchcraft and all that. And these things, you know, um, that's one of those reasons why God destroyed the world in the first time. Because they taught them a lot of things that they should never know. You know, so, so that's where sorcery comes in, witchcraft comes in, a lot of things. You know, the fallen angel in the book of Genesis chapter 6. You know, so so this are this is a wisdom, but it's a negative wisdom. It's a negative wisdom. Somebody can be here and then he brings an effigy of some of, of a relative in maybe far away New Zealand and then he plays a course and then what he's saying on that effigy begins to happen to so that person there. You know, these are the things that you know is wisdom but it's in the negative. You know, I remember the witch at Endo. Someone is dead. You know, someone said Come and then Saul say, Bring me the, the spirit of someone. I want to talk to the spirit of someone, you know. And then cause of the spirit of someone. How are they able to do those things? It's wisdom, but it's the wisdom in the negative. You know, wisdom in the negative. So there, there is a, a, a devilish wisdom. And that's where some of this agenda comes in. Now we can't even we can't even tell that marriage is between a man and a woman anymore. You can't say it. You know, you can't, you can't even tell who a gender is, who a male is now, who a female is. You know, there are a lot of agenda that have been pushed in our generation, you know, that has affected a lot of things. Marriage setting, you know, gender issue and all that. You know, that's where wickedness comes in also. A country rise against another country because they are, you know, with a lot of devilish wisdom, you know. And Bible says this wisdom is not of God. And that is what has caused a lot of chaos. In our world today, so Bible says these things are not of God, and whether we believe it or not, it's driving issues, it's driving things. Hallelujah! So children, children can be allowed to to change their gender if they want. The children as as small as six years old, five years old, who should not have anything to do with such thing. Why? Because there's a wisdom of the devil to destroy family, to destroy lives. So what I would believe, I would, John talking in the book of First John chapter 5 verse 19, he says, we have God, he says, but the whole world lies under the wicked one. So the world lies under the wicked one. And so because the world lies under the wicked one, there is a lot of agenda to turn man away from God, from Bible values, you know, which God, which is not pleasing in the heart of God. So first I talked about earthly wisdom, Second, I talk about sexual wisdom. Third, I talk about devilish wisdom. And then the fourth, I'm going to be talking about the divine wisdom. Wisdom that comes from God. Hallelujah. That's a divine wisdom. You know, it's divine wisdom that, that sent Christ to the world to, de- to become an atonement for our sins. 
you know it, it doesn't make sense to the human head it doesn't make sense but it makes sense to God because God is divine hallelujah so he sent Christ and Bible says the rulers of this world did not know for if they had known they wouldn't have crucified the love of glory so Jesus came to be ato- to be the atonement for sins for our sins hallelujah and his divine wisdom it is divine wisdom that you know gives us that avenue where we pray in tongues and talk to God and we even pray in tongues of something we don't even know so we pray in tongues and we don't even know what we're saying in tongues but Bible says God understands so Bible says he that speaks in tongues speaks not unto man but unto God he says but for himself does not understand no one understands this he says but the spirit he speaks mysteries glory to God so so it's divine wisdom that gives us an avenue to pray to God in a language that we don't even know you know first um, Corinthians chapter 2, if you read from 6, says, How be it, we speak wisdom among them that are mature. It's talking about tongues. Yet not the wisdom of this world, nor the prince of this world that come to naught. He says, But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even that hidden wisdom which God has ordained before the world for our glory. So there's a wisdom that God has ordained the world for before the world for our glory. But as we pray in the Spirit, this wisdom are unveiled to us in the place of prayer. So you know there's a divine wisdom where you communicate to God, you know, in spirit, and you don't even know what you're saying, but God understands perfectly what you're saying. That is divine wisdom. Hallelujah. That is divine wisdom. It's also divine wisdom that gives us the opportunity to have the Bible, nuggets of truth to live by. Glory to God. Nuggets of Bible truth to live by. So we're giving Bible. Read the book of Psalms, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Proverbs, and then you are full of wisdom. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, so these are these are the these are the avenues that God has provided for us in divine wisdom to walk in wisdom. You know, glory to God. Very, very important. I know Paul was writing to Timothy in the book of Second Timothy, chapter three, verse fifteen, in very beautiful scriptures. He says, "And that, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures." which are able to make the wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. He says, from Holy Child, you have, been, you have known the scriptures, which is simple to make you wise. So the word of God can make you wise. So, so it's also a part of divine package wisdom that is given to drive this world. Hallelujah. Whether I believe it or not, there's a divine wisdom by scriptures that is driving this world. Glory to God. You know, so, so these are the things that I, you know, are so vital to understand about divine wisdom, you know. So from the Holy Child, thou hast known the Holy Scriptures, which is able to make you wise. So the Word of God can give you wisdom, can make you wise. God was talking to Joshua in the book of Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. He says, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. He says, Thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. He says, Then, Thou shalt make your way prosperous. The word is salak saliak. Salak saliak. Thou shalt make your way prosperity. There is salak saliak. What does it mean? It means to come over mightily. It means to push forward. It says, as you give yourself to the word of God, it says you will push forward. You will become forceful. You will come over. Salak saliak. It says, then thou shalt have good success. I love the word good success. The word is sakar. What is Saka? Saka means to be wise, to be intelligent. You know, King James didn't quite do a nice work in the translation there because he used the word, thou shall have good success. It is not just, it's not success really. The word is to be wise. I'm not trying to put it wisely. It says that you may be able to deal wisely in the affairs of life. That is a very nice translation. I've forgotten the translation now. He says, Then thou shalt be able to deal wisely in the affairs of life. But King James says, Good success, which didn't quite do a nice, isn't quite a nice translation. But here in the Hebrew word, the word is saka, which means to be intelligent. So there's a divine wisdom by God, you know, to give us scriptures that will make us wise. Hallelujah. That will make us wise. Glory to God. You know, and also lastly, there's also a wisdom that you can get by asking God. Glory to God. There's a wisdom you can get by asking God. So James chapter 1 verse 5. You know, if you start from, if you start from 2, say, Can't stop joy where you go through diverse tests. Say, knowing that the test of your faith will produce patience. And let this patient have his perfect work that you may be perfect and complete and lacking nothing. And in the next verse, says, He that lacks wisdom should ask of God 
who giveth to all men liberally and does not upbraid. And Bible says, it shall be given to him. And Bible says, he must ask in faith. So there is also a specific wisdom that you can ask God. So you want to go into a business, say, Father, I want to go into this business. This is what I need. Grant me wisdom. Hallelujah. So you want to go into marriage, you can ask God. To. So there's a wisdom tailor made for you for even every situation. Now there's a wisdom that comes from reading the Bible, but there's a tailor made wisdom for you where God can tell you, do this, do this, say this, go here by this time, do this. And you find out that the moment you, you follow those instructions, you hit the target. Hallelujah. So there's a special wisdom you can act, just like Solomon asks God in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter. Chapter 1 verse 10, he has got for wisdom and knowledge. And God gave him wisdom and knowledge. Hallelujah. So you can ask God for wisdom to drive your business. You can ask God for wisdom to run that NGO. You know, you can drive, you know, it doesn't matter what it is you want to do. You can ask God for a special wisdom. So I talked about earthly wisdom, sensual wisdom, demonic wisdom, and divine wisdom. Divine wisdom is the one we should be going for. To drive things, hallelujah. To move, you know, you want to start an NGO, you want to feed the poor, whatever it is you want to do. There's a special wisdom that you can ask God for to help you drive those things. And you find out that the things around will be driven, you know, life will get better, life will be upgraded, you know, and glory and honor will return to God's name. So these are the four kinds of wisdom I want to share with us in this video. <clears throat> and my aim is to help us to understand the various kinds of wisdom and the one we should go for go for divine wisdom you know there's always a wisdom for whatever it thinks you want to do in life there is always wisdom for whatever things you want to do so as you read bible as you pray you can ask god for that specific wisdom and he will give it to you hallelujah so these are the things i want to share with us in this video thank you so very much for taking our time to watch this video and please before you go i need subscribers please please take our time to share with friends i need subscribers subscribe to my channel like, turn on the post notification, and share with your friends. Until I see you in my next video, thank you so very much, and God bless you. Shalom.